Michelle White was a 20-year-old Santee, California resident who studied at Grossmont College. She worked part-time as a cashier at a grocery store and had dreams of becoming a model and possibly working in the film industry. She was described as an outdoorsy person who enjoyed nature, scuba diving and skating. She also enjoyed tap dancing and organ lessons. She was very well liked and outgoing. She rented an apartment with a roommate located at 10,586 Kerrigan Court. Late on the evening of the 8th of October 1980, Michelle was home alone, so she decided to hang out with her boyfriend. The couple went out to play pool for a few hours and then returned to her apartment. Shortly before 1am on the 9th of October, her boyfriend left the unit and locked the door behind him. Later that afternoon, her roommate entered the unit and made a horrifying discovery. She found Michelle's lifeless body laying on the living room floor. She had been lewdly assaulted and then strangled to death with a telephone cord. The contents of a purse were strewn about from a struggle and the authorities were contacted. First responders who arrived at the crime scene collected evidence, including an assault kit, and people were questioned. Detectives found no sign of forced entry into the unit. Neighbours in the complex told the investigators that they heard screams early that morning coming from Michelle's apartment, but did not ring the authorities. After a lengthy investigation into the murder, all leads were exhausted and the case went cold. In 1996, investigators re-examined the evidence through the use of DNA technology forensic testing. Around 90 potential suspects were contacted and interviewed with many providing samples to compare against their biological evidence collected in 1980, but a suspect wasn't identified. In June of 2000, detectives had items of evidence re-examined using more sensitive methods. Through these tests, it revealed there were two separate DNA profiles at the crime scene. The assault kit recovered from Michelle revealed that one of the DNA profiles was Michelle's boyfriend, who was eliminated as a suspect, and the other profile from an unknown male subject. In 2001, the unknown suspect's DNA was entered into the CODIS database, but no match was found. In September of 2020, investigators scrutinised the evidence through genetic genealogy, with the aim of finding relatives whose own DNA profile matched that of the unknown suspect in the murder. The suspect's profile was developed and uploaded onto commercial genealogy websites that allow law enforcement agencies to participate. Family trees were created and cold case detectives narrowed their search to direct family members of the suspect who agreed to provide DNA samples. On the 4th of August 2021, the authorities announced they had identified Michelle's killer as US Air Force veteran John Patrick Hogan. He was 18 years old at the time of the offence. It is said that he was watching Michelle as her boyfriend left and knocked on a door and gained entry to her apartment before attacking and killing her. There will be no arrest, however, as John died from overdosing on meth at the age of 42 on the 9th of October 2004, exactly 24 years from the date he violated and killed Michelle. The investigators learnt that John had friends in the complex, which he would frequently visit. At the time of the murder, he lived in Santee, just over a mile from Michelle's residence. John joined the Air Force in 1979 and was stationed in New Mexico for a brief period. He travelled back and forth among the states of Arizona, California and Idaho until his death in 2004. 